Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. So let's go ahead and get into it, Aquarius. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aquarius, the word of the day is rest. Okay. R E S T. So, uh, rest is defined by ceasing to work or movement in order to relax, refresh oneself, or recover strength. It's also an, uh, a period of releasing, relaxing, uh, ceasing to engage in strenuous or stressful work. So some of you need to rest. You need to rest your body. You need to rest your heart. You need to rest your mind. Some of you are overthinking. Some of you are, uh, yeah, it's overthinking and, and just really putting a lot of energy into something. You need to pull back. You need to take a rest, okay? Some of you could do mu music because uh, the musical definition is an interval of silence or a of a specified duration so the rest in the song you know um yeah some of you could do music and some of you just need an interval of of silence you know you just need to be silent in that rest period you're going to find answers you're going to find a console you're going to find uh solace I don't know, some of you just going a mile a minute. I don't know if it's you continuously engaging in things, engaging in stuff, so you don't have to deal with the realness of the truth of the matter here. Some of you, okay, so, and then we'll, we'll switch gears here. So some of you need to rest, okay, all together. So there's no exertion on your body and on your mind and your heart. So just complete stop, cease. Um, I also got a vision of like a, a, a dragon, but before it turned into a dragon, it was like, it has, it has like a, a, it had a man's body and then it turned into like a dragon head, but there was a woman, you know, I don't want to be graphic or sexual. Um, she was on top of him. Okay. And I don't know if you, some of you are engaging in sexual activities with somebody who, I don't know if they're practicing some, some type of magic or some type of spell or ritual, or you're engaging with someone whose energy is low vibrational and maybe yours is high or vice versa. This is you, but there's something about, you know, this dragon, it almost, and then I turned the deck over and I saw the devil and it almost looked at similar, you know, similar to the devil, you know, uh, with the, uh, except for this is a goat's head, right? Um, but in, in the, the vision, it was a, it was like a dragon and the, and then he started breathing fire, you know, as the woman was on top of him. So I don't know if some of you, like somebody's trying to bind you sexually or trying to get you to have sex with them. Be cautious of the people that you are having sex with. Make sure you don't get involved with someone who's trying to trap you because the devil can't talk about entrapment. It talks about uh, allowing yourself to be swayed, allowing yourself to be seduced, temptation, okay? Because you know, if dealing, I don't know, you know, you know who you're dealing with. You could be dealing with someone who has a lot of parties, sexual parties. They could be giving you something in terms of sexual transmitted disease. Um, it's just, it just seemed real odd and low vibrational. All right. So let's get into the reading here. What we're going to do today, because I know a lot of people can't or, or don't want to, um, afford, uh, personal readings. We're going to break the reading down into Aquarius deacons. Okay. You say, what is a deacon? Um, he works at a church. No, I'm joking. Uh, so Aquarius deacons, well, we're going to break it down. So each zodiac sign has uh, deacons and they're broken up into three deacons, okay? Um, and it's just by date. So the first deacon Aquarius would be January 21st through the 29th. And then the second deacon will be January 30th through February 8th. And the third deacon will be February 9th through the 18th, okay? 
Um, so just to give it, you know, give the reading a little more, you know, get it a little bit more specific. Okay. And today we're going to talk about new people. You know, hopefully there's someone new coming in for each deacon. Uh, happy birthday to those who are celebrating today, yesterday and, and beyond. Happy birthday, Aquarius. Uh, let's get into it. Okay. So we're going to start with the first deacon and that is again, January 21st through the 29th. If anyone wants to timestamp the deacons, uh, I will, uh, answer uh two free questions for whomever the first person the first person the first and only person who time stamps the, the reading by deacons uh will get uh two free questions answered okay and they have to be yes or no questions please don't send me four page letters i will not read them don't waste your time because i will not read them i will reply back what is your question okay um we have to be respectful of people's time all right so uh they have to be yes or no questions to the point i don't I, I don't need the backstory just because you know we just don't need that right okay so yes or no questions first person who time stamps first person okay. all right so the first deacon aquarius is there someone new coming in for the first deacon aquarius and this is january 21st through the 29th the three of wands we have a maybe here um You've done the manifest. This is a yes too. You know, you've done the manifestation work. Okay. And you were tired of being breadcrumbed by maybe someone in your recent past. You were tired of the power dynamic, not being equal. There wasn't an equal give and take here. Maybe somebody showed their likeness or their love for you by way of giving you things, or maybe saying, Oh, I took you out. We went out to eat. We went out to dinner. Um, you understand that you got to leave something or someone behind some relationship, some situationship that just didn't work. So for, um, first Deacon Aquarians, it looks like, yes, there's someone coming in, especially when you turn your back to the past, when you, when you start thinking about expansion and putting yourself out there, increasing the probability and your options here, Aquarius, then you can, um, you know, get what you want here with the three of wands. Who is this new person? All right, let's see. Okay, so they could be younger than you. We got the Page of Cups. Um, I don't know, some of you could be on uh, dating sites or there's a lot of activity with the Eight of Wands here. It looks like things can go fast for you. They could be younger than you. Um, you at first you won't know exactly what they're bringing to the table of course they're a new person you got to get to know them um they could be fun they can bring more romance into your life also they could be very romantic okay uh persuasive yeah persuasive in terms of uh how they talk to you they could be uh very um smart fast quick a fast thinker what should Aquarius know about this new person? The two of cups. Very nice. Uh, it's going to be mutually beneficial. This is a relation. You can allow yourself to fall in love. The two of cups says, uh, let the love that is flowing towards you, let it in with the two of cups here. Um, they're seeking a one-on-one -on -one connection at this time. The two of cups, this relationship could come to you in the summertime. We've got the cup cards. We've got the manifestation power happening. We've got the eight of wands and the three of wands showing up. We've got it, uh, in, in April, excuse me, I said April. So maybe in April, um, we've got it happening for you in spring and then summer. So it looks like, uh, first Deacon Aquarius, you've got some options here where you have an option, uh, with the two of cups. It says that, uh, this, this will be a very strong partnership. They could have, um, they could be a cancer Leo rising or vice versa. They could, you know, be a Leo or a cancer. It doesn't have to be, they could be cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We've got also the wands. We've got, uh, what is this? Aqu not Aquarius, Sagittarius showing up, I believe. Yep. It could be a lot of, a lot of chemistry, a lot of attraction between the two of you, a lot of sexual attraction, a lot of sexual, you know, being sexually aroused by one another. There could be a lot of infatuation, you know, uh, maybe even borderline addiction. So pull back if you need to. 
This could be an opportunity for you to fall in love. You also could meet this person while traveling, moving around. I don't know if you, you move around a lot for work or um, you're, you're in and about the city, your city, wherever you live. This gonna be a lot of back and forth communication. This might be a texter, you know, somebody who likes to text. This looks really good, okay? So that's what I have for first Deacon Aquarius, all right? So let's see what we have for second Deacon Aquarius in terms of a new person, okay? And second Deacon Aquarius is, um, hang on one second, I'm about to mess the deck up. Okay, so second Deacon Aquarius is January 30th to February 8th, all right? January 30th to February 8th. First Deacon Aquarius, you got some new person coming in. They could be younger than you or maybe just less experienced in love relationships, if not younger than you. They could be very romantic. Uh, they could say really nice things to you. Um, they're, they're trying to get you to fall in love with them or, or, or fall in strong like, I don't know, whichever one comes first. Um, it says it's a mutually beneficial relationship. So um, have fun. And it could be coming into you uh, rather quickly, either this year or next year, but we have the spring and the summertime showing up. All right, so is there a new person coming in for second Deacon Aquarius, January 30th through February 8th? Do we have a new person coming in from January 30th to February 8th? Do we have a new person coming in from for second Deacon Aquarius? January 30th through February 8th. Oh, these cards, are, they are, okay. Second Deacon Aquarius, what's really going on? I don't know, you could be kind of recluse. I don't know if you are getting out there. Let's see. Second Deacon Aquarius. All right, two cards want to come out. All right, so this could be you, Aquarius. The Devil and the Ace of Cups. All right, so we've got a yes and then we have a no. Okay, so we have a yes and we have a no. If 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 the Aquarius decides to, um, if you choose to really leave this toxic, low vibrational person alone and have this new love, then you can definitely have someone new. Okay, I, it it just feels like you feel stuck, tied, bound to a person. Um, and they may have you. They they may have uh, you may have given up your power in this you know giving up your power to this person it could be that the relationship is highly sexual very this person could be very attractive they're everything that you want on paper but in terms of character morale value system they they there's a lot of lack there you know they are lacking in, in, you know in those uh, aspects but it seems as if I don't know, Aquarius, don't allow yourself to be easily swayed, tempted, um, because new love can happen for you with the Ace of Cups here. And it says that if you continuously stay in this relationship with someone who's low vibrational, toxic, not good for you, um, not going to change, it's just going to keep you sexually bound. This could be somebody who done, who's done sexual magic also to bind you, bind your your mind, maybe even your lower region. They could do this while you are having sex by themselves. I don't know, you know, um, but it's funny that you have the eight of swords at the bottom of the deck here. It says that spirit is trying to speak to you. you some of you really need to get stronger in your spiritual practice and listen. Um, you need to understand the energy between two people in terms of when they have sex. And I know that you understand it, but you need to really spiritually understand that also. Spiritual ties. So you can have newness, but you have to make the choice here. Because the devil is, um, it's a choice, you know? It, it says choose wisely, because you can get into something that will lead you down that karmic road of where you have to you know, unravel, de you know, untangle yourself. Um, it leads to entrapment, okay? And to being bound, stuck to, indebted to, you know? Um, 
So Aquarius, uh, second deacon Aquarius, we have a yes and we have a no. All right, so um, if Aquarius chooses to, if Aquarius chooses new love, chooses themselves, this also could be self-love too, because you've kind of given over your power here, you know, giving up in terms of thinking that things will change for you. Um, maybe even waiting for the other person to change here. It says that with, with the devil card, it's like two people who just, they fail to learn the lesson between in the relationship, just fail to learn the lesson. So you just continuously repeat the cycle. All right, so let's see, page of pentacles. All right, so it looks like um, if you choose the new person or you choose new love, then it seems as if you, you grow in terms of with the page of pentacles you have more options too you can even come into having a more serious relationship the knight of pentacles talks about um, coming into uh, a more solid stable dedicated loyal connection here wow maybe one that is balanced and the pentacles talks about you know the manifestation the realness the real thing so it looks as if it could come into you and it will be real it'll be solid it'll be stable um Maybe this person, of course, could be younger than you. Um, this is all, the, all about timing too. It's all about consistency. You, you'll get a person who is consistent, who's showing up for love, who's showing up. They have real, um, they have real intentions of making this real, of uh, showing up with a level of equality the power, it says that the power dynamic will be equal and balanced. You won't be, you won't feel as if you are engaging in something where you're doing all the work or you're always waiting. Like in that eight of swords here, waiting for the other person to kind of take you out of your mind space, out of your, out of your head. And it says that this person does this purposely because they know that you'll think about them. They know that you'll come running back. Maybe there's somebody ghost or, or they fall back and then they, they make you chase. So this is a person who goes into a period of rest, of not talking to you, not engaging with you, and then you run back to them. It's a game, it's like a cat and mouse game, it's tit for tat, it's very, uh, again, low vibrational. Okay, so if Aquarius chooses this devil energy, if Aquarius chooses this devil energy, it says, you you need to wrap this up the devil in the world talks about a, a karmic cycle literally you learning the karmic lesson it talks about you needing to maybe set boundaries this is destructive it's destructive to your ascension process destructive to you getting what you say you really want in life or from a partner you know so aquarius um you have to, you don't have to do anything, but it says that you need to choose, of course, newness, okay? You need to learn about yourself too. You need to learn about relationships. You need to learn about consistency. You need to learn about uh, intentions and uh, how, you know, you need to have intentions for all your relationships, engaging in things that just won't go anywhere uh, or you're not gonna get what you want um, is a waste of time. Okay, because something about timing. This could have been a sex only relationship where this person was destructive. They would come back and destroy your peace, uh, destroy what you built, or they will do this, okay? So that's what we have, Aquarius. Um, it looks like you can have something solid and stable, something that you have been trying to manifest, but you just kept going back to some situation that just didn't uh it, it doesn't resonate with you any longer but you you continuously are choosing to stay in it you know it's toxic you know they're toxic all right so third deacon aquarius let's see third deacon aquarius we have february 9th through the 18th february 9th through the 18th here all right third deacon aquarius february 9th through the 18th 
Is there someone new coming in for the Aquarius? Is there someone new coming in for third deacon Aquarius? Whoa. Uh oh. So four of cups and then the temperance card fell out and then the devil in reverse. None of the cards should be reversed. And you saw that that card wasn't reversed when we first started. Um, some of you, you need to get your life in order. Okay. That's with the temperance card. You're not seeing that there's another opportunity or there's another person. You, you're st steadily focused on somebody who could be, you know, not wanting you, rejecting you, or not wanting to give you what you deserve here. It says you need to come out of this. You know, you want some, you want to come out of a third party situation here also. And you want a successful, wealthy marriage to or with a particular individual. Yes, somebody could be married here. You or couple. You guys could be. There's like a power struggle. You want this person to do what you want with the two of swords here. You want them to move how you want them to move when you want them to move. Like it's a tug of war. It's tug of war here. It's like there's no compromise and no negotiation. Either you feel you can't compromise with this person. They feel like they can't compromise with you. Something about co cooperation, you know, going along to get along and feeling like it's not getting you anywhere, especially if it's third party, just accepting it, but then feeling guilty about it. Yeah, it could be about a sex only connection. All right. So it looks like the third Deacon Aquarius is stuck on maybe some third party, low vibrational energy um, here. So we've got no in terms of third Deacon Aquarius. And we've got some advice here. You need to, what is the advice for third Deacon Aquarius? What is the advice on the moon card? All has not been revealed to you, but there you have been having some vivid dreams here. There are secrets being kept. Um, there could be multiple partners also for somebody here with the seven of wands. Somebody could be just wanting to keep the relationship at, you know, maybe just sex, sex only. Yep. Eight with well, the strength card. It's a lot of mystery surrounding this person, surrounding their money, surrounding what they do, what their intentions are. And, and, um, yeah, there also could just be a lot of different people either now or in the past, or this is what they've always done. They always keep a lot of different people, maybe to feed their ego. It's like you're fighting for something, but you don't know what you're going to get. Aquarius, it's like you, you're continuously engaging in the fight, but it says you, you know, you don't know. And you always have to do a lot to keep this person's attention because they will ghost or take a rest or a break period from you. This is, um, they're, you're not creating anything here. It's just continuous engaging with one another it's like you always have to maintain your your emotions and your control or get in and get in control of your emotions or stay in control because um there's so much mystery here and you, you but you continuously stay i don't know why you know that this person is sneaky a liar deceptive They're going to break your heart. Yeah. And you might not get what you want. So that's what we have for first, second and third Deacon Aquarius. Let's get some advice for all Aquarius advice for each and every Aquarius advice for each and every Aquarius, all Aquarius. Look for a sign, okay? Uh, yeah, look for a sign. Got that there. Um, look for a sign from the heavens. Maybe you, you're confused because for some of you, you are confused because you're dealing with somebody who's kind of doing, they're really strategic with their moves. There could even be a level of magic happening, whether they know they're doing magic or not. Some of them know. Um, 
look for a sign that this is uh, that that gives you validation of of your thoughts and your feelings okay because it looks like the universe is trying to reach out to you especially a second deacon Aquarius with the ace of cups and try to tell you that you know something is off here and and wait okay wait Aquarius all right um, second and third deacon Aquarius you got the devil showing up the the third deacon Aquarius you get the devil in reverse so that's really good um, but it, it was more so about maybe wanting to come out of third party situations but anyhow um, firstly that vision that I got of that like dragon head then breathing fire like some of you need to wait before it's especially some of you who are born on 130 so January 30th um, you need to wait before you engage or have sex with somebody um, you need to inquire maybe ask questions the situation will improve for some of you okay forgiveness success and a year from now okay so those are the messages and you got a big fat no all right so a year from now things could look completely different you can have some successful relationship especially first deacon aquarius and second deacon aquarius even third but you have to make the right choices maybe even forgive yourself first and then start out and then start working outward you know forgiving other people the situation will improve if you make the right decision you just need to wait on something and look for a sign because it looks like the universe is really trying to speak to you we have a no answer at the bottom of the deck let's go ahead and clarify this no answer and then we'll get out of here what is this no answer no um no if the if the question is about how will a situation go or should i get a double no ten of swords some of you just really need to release situations you just need to release it you hold it on tight to it for whatever reason maybe fear of missing out or you put so much energy effort time into it you wanted to get what you wanted some of you should have no sex because there is something that could devastate you in terms of engaging in sexual activity with a particular person something could be unexpected you could get pregnant again std you could find out that someone has other partners you could feel foolish for what you've done uh, or who you're engaging with because they made you think maybe you were the only one there could just be a level of regret you could feel like the victim um overly dramatic or just dramatizing the entire situation it could just all fall apart this person have sex with you and then they won't call you for another week yeah so about that sex you need to wait it's a whole no for some of you yep this person could ghost you this is what they've done they'll leave you up in your head then they'll come back and ask for forgiveness with some story and they'll just keep you carrying the weight of the relationship for some of you yeah they'll keep you and they're going to keep the relationship stuck and stagnant to where you're nurturing the relationship and hoping for betterment and hoping for a traditional relationship something concrete something long lasting and all they're after is desire they secretly want to give you what you what you deserve and i don't think they have that in them for some of you you could have somebody who wants to make you their forever person um and you'll know that too look for a sign look for validation ask ask the universe ask your angels like is this my person you know ask for a sign for some of you it's a big bad no so that's what i have for you i hope that it resonates for you okay i'm being called to pull one of these cards angels and ancestors oracle deck angels and ancestors oracle deck all right let's see we're at 30 minutes all right angels and ancestors oracle deck the snake i saw it oh shed old skin you can't make this stuff up all right so shed old skin aquarius shed old relationships because somebody is a snake 
Um, and I had, it was like, I guess you can call it a lucid dream, but I was kind of like awake and sleep. And um, there was a snake like crawling up the side of the house, like trying to go through one of the ducks and trying to get in the house. Yeah. And then we got the devil showing up again, the hunter. Track down your fears and your desires because in your fears, you're going to find what you really desire. Maybe you're holding on again to somebody out of fear of missing out. What you really want is a forever person, a true person. So that's what you really desire, but you're making decisions out of fear. So you're making the wrong decisions. You got the devil twice showing up in two different deacons. So some of you really need to do the energy clearing, the energy work, the snake. You need to shed the old here. Um, you need to let it go. You need to learn the lesson. The snake that uh, starts to eat its own tail is is one that has learned the lesson. It's a circle. You, you've closed out that cycle. I think the second deacon Aquarius had the world. Some of you just need to close the cycle out. You've learned all that you can learn. You've gone as far as you can go. This is the fullness of the thing. You'll always be disappointed. You'll always be devastated. It'll always be volatile. You'll always be the victim or someone else will play the victim. Just let it go. You know, I know it's easier said than done, but you need to start doing the work in terms of letting it go. And when people say let it go, people automatically go to, um, okay, immediately letting it go. No, that's not, you didn't immediately fall in love with this person or fall in likeness, whatever, with this person. So you're not going to immediately let it go, but you need to start doing the work of release whether it is sending out that vibration to the universe each and every day you wake up and you thank whomever you believe in or whatever higher power you believe in for helping you to release helping you to forgive this person helping you most importantly to release release the, the negativity uh the hurt and the pain maybe even the shame for some of you uh, of not getting what you wanted and being taken advantage of release 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 and relinquish Put this to rest. That was the word of the day here. You need to cease engagement, cease activity in terms of a particular relationship, a particular person, because they're holding you up, especially second Deacon Aquarius from a new love. Third Deacon Aquarius, you're trying to wait for this person to come out of a marriage, long-term commitment, or, or this is your safe space. Maybe you like dealing with people who are already committed. You need to do work or energy work in terms of that but releasing relinquishing okay shedding the old skin let it let it go all right so that's what i have for you wow the sun card at the bottom of the deck you're gonna get a new person marriage baby house the sun card represents all things positive so think of all the positive things that you want to come into your life and there you have the sun card and it says that the, the universe is um, shining bright on you. You know, you'll be radiating positivity. So that's what you'll be attracting once you release and relinquish the old, the old skin. Okay. You'll become more loving. All right. So that's what I have for you. I hope that it resonates. I hope that it gave you a bit of clarity and maybe even gave you more specific messages according to your birthday. Aquarius, again, happy birthday. Go over to the website and get your own personal reading there. Ask um, a question or two by texting it to the number below. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can also um, donate to the channel by, by buying me a coffee. Look, coffee. Um, thank you guys again. Take care. Many blessings. Talk to you soon.